Whoa, hey guys, it's the Good Sir Knight from the future. I just wanted to let you all know that uh, you can tell us the future by the shades and your robotic camera. But more importantly, dudes, the original set of Opscore amps, they had problems with the uh, battery drain and they weren't turning off properly. So if you got one of the original batches and it keeps burning through batteries despite being turned off, you gotta contact Opscore and ask them to fix it, dudes! The temporal vortex is falling apart! <laughs> Greetings everyone, the Chris Knight here. Today we're doing a review on the Opscore Amps, the adaptive mission platform. So the newest, latest, and greatest in the earring protection with NMFI Witchcraft installed. So, let's get started. The set set is most notable for its ability to use these uh, old rack style sort of uh, earmuffs using a sit on the back of your helmet. So these are mostly only compatible with Opscore helmets and, well, things with a similar back tail. So you can't use them on the airframe. As Gucci and hipster-esque as the airframe may be, it's not going to work. Although I'm sure at some point someone will make some sort of adaptive system that will be immensely expensive just for that reason. So, headset's pretty fantastic. Give you a bit of a quick background, at least for me personally, for using headsets. Start with a pair of Sordans I got from my buddy. Fixed downlink cable, fixed mic, picked up a lot of noise. You'd hear the wind and stuff all the time. Kind of uh, made them difficult to use, but you know, not bad. It was new tech for me back in 2013, 2014 when I got a hold of them, so it was pretty cool. Definitely liked it, but that pretty much set us down the route. From there, we got some uh, Peltor Comtac. Was it the Comtac 3s? They're pretty nice. They're comfy. They had a fixed downlink cable still, but they're really neat. But the big problem we ran to with those is when you moved them from a headband to a helmet setup on those fun little side nubbies that everyone knows about. Took a lot of effort because they had a little metal wire, you had to pop free and reinsert. Took forever to switch them between the two. So, what's particularly notable about these amps, though they do make cheaper fixed downlink versions, is that they're incredibly modular. Down here we've got our two uh, ports so we can connect uh, downlink cables to connect them to PTTs and radios. And we've got these two covers here that allow you to connect your microphone on either side. And the microphone, I gotta admit, is a lot beefier than what you may be used to. I'm used to the, uh, the, um, what should I call it, the Comtag ones, the Peltors, and I was very quickly able to break these pins. This one's a lot sturdier, it's got a little, uh, little lock-in bolt there, so that's gonna make things a lot more robust. Daily cable comes off, it just sits right here, one end has that little arrow that plugs into your headset, and the headset itself has a little downwards arrow to be like, hey, connect that arrow to this arrow and everything will be Gucci. So, as I mentioned, they also come with this cool little headband system, which looks incredibly tiny without the uh, system connected to it, but it is incredibly simple to use. So, before anything else, let's go ahead and get started here real quick. Do a quick little demonstration. Oh, the wire, also pretty simple. These things also got these little clips here. You can run the wire through, helps keep it protected when you're moving it back and forth. And then you also run that down here, and I didn't get any of the proper Velcro, so I cut some of the uh, Velcro tabs I had, and they are way too short, so they're not really doing a very good job. But they're doing the best they can! Okay, I'll get that fixed later. We'll get we'll get more Velcro, it's okay. It's, it's gonna be fine, guys. So, throw on a nice little super comfy helmet here, clip that on there. Okay, cool. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for starters. And then you go, oh, I need to put the helmet on. You got these beefy arms back here. They're going to come out there. You're going to Mickey Mouse yourself real quick. And these are basically Gordon Ramsay holding two big slices of white bread and he's going to slam them in your ears and he's going to ask you what you are. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich Chef Ramsay. A few people are going to get that reference. So, throw these on down. So what's really easy is you got these two buttons underneath here. You press both of those at once. That's going to turn on the headset itself. And it goes beep 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 and your headset's on. And you're just fine. These have 360 hearing installed, so you're going to be able to hear from all sorts of directions. It's actually going to transmit that properly and from the sides and whatnot, and it's going to make your life a lot easier. So, even Comtax didn't have that. Comtax had superior hearing compared to Sordans, as well as superior hearing protection, but they didn't have that full 3D or 360 hardcore PC gamer hearing that you're going to get. 
and I'll be like, oh, that noise is behind me to the left, the other one's right to the side, above my head, all these different directions, you're going to hear everything clearly, it's almost as if you're not really wearing the hearing protection at all, although it is going to keep the loud noises out, but mostly it's going to be helping you, what's the word I'm looking for, it's going to be giving you a way, basically enhanced hearing, it's super hearing, you are the ear, notorious, infamous superhero, hero, able to hear all noises, and probably a really good lockpick. So, that's the really simple thing, if you're just going to be using these out on the range, you go, oh yeah, I just need to go pew pew real quick, ta 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 We also, if you, with a Maritime, like I'm running here, you can get these to sit just a little bit higher, which gives you that little bit of extra space for your buttstock, so you can still shoot EOTEX without a riser, effectively. You can do it with normal helmets and all that good stuff, but, I mean, it's going to be a bit more interference, and the less interference, the better. So, a little NFMI button is located right here on the side. If you press that, it puts the witchcraft into the ears that we'll be covering here in a second. So, turn those off real quick. It goes doo doo doo. Everything gets really, really hard to hear. We're going to pop this off here for a second because we're going to change the battery. I actually have dying batteries in there, so it's going beep 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 and complaining the entire time. So, we're going to come down here. Uh, let's see, I get a good view going. Yeah. All right, so. You can see your downlink cable. It goes mentioned, it goes down into here. You just pop one of these off. And they got these little rubber caches here connected to the cable to keep everything in check so you don't lose them. However, you don't have them for the boom mic bits. So, you know, these can get lost pretty easy. So, uh, do take care. Battery, battery's pretty simple. They just go into these little back compartments here. And they do use AAA batteries. So, we're just gonna. Fortunately, these are grooved for uh, her pleasure, so you can get your fingernail in there and get to them. Pop that little battery out. I got these. What batteries do I even have in here? I got some cheap, uh, ooh, Japanese batteries. So yeah, those um, those aren't gonna last terribly long, which is probably why they're already dying despite minimal use. We gonna pop both of those free over here. Dun 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 dun. Come on. And yeah, so you do want the little uh. Was it the plus side is going to be facing outwards towards the battery cap. So things to keep in mind. Da, 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 we're going to throw those over there. I'm going to pop open some new batteries. And yeah, we're actually going to get this dressed right now. So, superior hearing, all sorts of good stuff. The uh, hear-through technology, particularly with in respects to the um, earplugs, gives you even better hearing protection. And I honestly cannot tell you how they work, I can just tell you that they work, and they work really, really well. You put those earbuds in, you press that little NFMI button, they start doing some magnetic witchcraft transceiving nonsense. I'm sure someone who actually does comms for a living could explain better than me. But basically, yeah, it transmits everything directly and without the need of a battery in the earplugs, directly into your ear. And it is super, super gangster. So coming on back up to me, hi start of the show. <laughs> so that's going to fix the battery issue. You get your, let's actually take a better cl close look here. So you got your buttons down here, your plus and minus, that's going to adjust your volume, hold them both down to turn them on. And you got to hold them both down for like three or four seconds to turn it off. Plug for the mic, plug for all that. Um, NFMI button, this is a little opscore looking thingy. Is that opscore? I think it's just a normal button. Just a normal button. Nothing too fancy. So yeah, things are pretty simple. The uh, actual mounts here, if you're wondering how you take these on, put them on, take them off, and all that good stuff. If you have them set up in any way, you can't reach that little tab down there. I mean, you can, but it's not going to go anywhere. When you pop them up and face them downwards, preferably after you freed up the cable and stuff, that's going to release that tab there so you can actually move it. So that ensures that without the ear pads facing, ear muffs facing down, you're not going to be able to remove it or have it dislodged accidentally. So, pretty gangster there. So yeah, as we're talking, let's go ahead. We're gonna connect our downlink cable and stuff, which means I gotta remember left from right, which is very, very difficult. So give me a second here. So we're gonna be, yeah, I'm smart. I have very big brain. So this side right here on our left side, all you gotta do is pop that free. And I do recommend doing this before you put the helmet on, because if you try doing this while you're wearing the helmet, it's going to be abysmally unpleasant. So. I also can't see. There we go. So you take your downlink cable, as I mentioned earlier, and you can run dual comms if you wanted to, if you wanted to be one of those super cool guys who's running two communication systems so you can talk to two different groups of people at a time. You can totally do that. So you take your downlink cable and you're just going to plug that in there, like so. 
It's got this, it looks like Limo, I know it's not Limo 6 pin, but it's got a nice little setup there. Could be Limo 6 pin, I don't know, again, I don't do comps, I just have like a very general idea. So, boom mic, if you're running the uh, Soder, like I was doing for the Soder review, then there's also a similar plug you can plug into the microphone when it's all in the Soder and get used out of that, this just plugs in. Screw that in like an old school monitor cable on your PC. If you're as old or close to as old as I am and didn't have touch screens growing up. And yeah, that's your whole setup right there. So, got the basics going. So we're gonna take our helmet and you can roll these back to the top if you really wanted to. I mean, they do fit back there. You're gonna have this cable kind of like flopping around threatening to stab you in the eyeball. But for demonstration purposes, we're gonna roll those back up there. We're gonna put our helmet on, our cable's just chilling out here in front of our face. Clip on our chin strap so our helmet doesn't go flying when we inevitably bonk our head into something. And just pop these boys over, down, together, turn it back on. Yeah, there we go. New batteries, feels so good. So from there we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run our cable through our shoulder strap here to help improve our cable management abilities. Always a challenge, never as easy as I want to be, and we got everything set up. So, boom mic's ready to go, we're nice and comfy, we gotta get that high little thing. You gotta do the cool operator thing where it comes up high, so in case you have to left shoulder transition, it uh, doesn't get caught up on your stock. Yeah, there we go, we got that turned on. You can grab our secondary radio, our little bow fang. It's gonna say frequency mode, everything's gonna be Gucci. I'm gonna set that up over here on the side. And we're going to transmit. Yes, very cool, very exciting. We're gonna go uh, guy in field to, um, to ops. We are running low on LaCroix. Please send supplies over. You gotta say please or they won't do it and they're very, very fickle. Then we're gonna turn up that volume a bit more. We're gonna whisper into the microphone. Just kind of giving you an idea how the uh, whole microphone thing works out. So we're gonna be like, Hey, I really need a cheeseburger. Big old cheeseburger. I guess it's a little too close. You get a bit of feedback, but you get the idea. Cheeseburger is the request. Turn that volume down. I gotta turn that off. So yeah, really simple to use. If you're using your, um, whatchamacallit, the soda, it's just as easy to use, except now you're having breathing difficulty like you're overweight, but that's really just the filtration system, so. It's not that bad, but you know, you gotta make the reference. So, really cool, really Gucci. You can see I got mine sitting way up to the top of the brim of the helmet because again, like I mentioned earlier, doing so that way enables you to get a better cheek weld. Ugh. So yeah, you got that going on, you're going here, you get dee 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 dee, doing your little boom mic stuff, you're keeping your weapon at the ready, you can go up, high port, because high port's nice and Gucci, but you go, oh, and there's lots of high overhead stuff, we're gonna go low port, and people are gonna complain, because apparently you can only do one or the other in today's modern society. So yeah, really simple to use. Easy to use on a helmet with your plate carrier and all your Gucci stuff, so what if you're just going to the range, or what if you're going out on patrol, and you're doing some reconnaissance work, you're not gonna need, you're gonna be all the plates and heavy weight and the helmet and everything, because you're gonna be out in the woods, and uh, yeah, having a good time on your little nature hike. So, you can easily strip down all of this gear and make your life much easier. Also, never ever ever forget to remove your downlink cable from your PTT. You'll have a bad time. Now with these arrows and stuff, that's just got a little like a spring-loaded system in there. So, little ball bearings and stuff, all you gotta do is pinch down on that as you pull away, and that ensures you don't accidentally remove it. Obey me! I didn't turn these off, did I? If you don't turn them off, and you uh, tap the little um, covered receiver port there, it'll make a bunch of noise. And occasionally make a loud beep noise, so... Just hold down those. It goes beep, 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 and we're all good. So we're gonna get these removed here, because we're not gonna need them for the rest of the video, although they are gonna be useful in the near future. Yeah. Cover that back up. All right, and there's that easy to remove. So, you're going out on party mode. Oh yeah, let me cover these real quick before I get too far ahead of myself. Because there's a lot to talk about in this video and I don't have a script because I am a professional. So as you can see, yeah, there's no batteries, no crazy ports. They look like just two little earbuds with these little uh, plasticky metallic bits. Don't mind the rope, that's just to keep them from getting lost. It lets them just sit behind your head. So, same old, same old. You crush down on the styrofoam 
jam these in your ears like your parents told you not to do as a kid and yeah you can barely hear anything earmuffs go over that you press the N uh, NFMI button and they're gonna put this little transmitter thing going and you're gonna be able to hear everything as if you weren't wearing anything but the standard hearing protection so what that does it gives you a secondary barrier to help protect you against really loud noises jet engines craziness next door explosions aren't going to deafen you and give you the fun little tinnitus effect so super useful to have and uh, really not too many reasons not to use them uh, except for the fact that they can get lost pretty easy but yeah I don't I can't tell you if it saves battery or not either I'd imagine it does but it could be using more energy um I'm not that technical into the headsets here so going to a flat range all you're gonna want to be doing is the pew pew and keeping your ears safe you're not gonna be communicating with people you're not gonna be doing anything too crazy like that and you don't need the ballistic uh, protection because you're not going to get shot in the face. Hopefully. There are some special people out there who probably should be shooting. So all you got to do to get this whole setup going, and this is what I particularly like, you couldn't do this quickly with contacts, and you definitely could not do this with so uh, the uh, swordens. You probably could, but it would probably be way more effort than it was worth. So, moving from helmet to if it, you pop off these two little bits of velcro here that need to be sufficiently longer to be of value. That's going to free up your cable, and then you're going to pop the cable free of these little uh, nubules here. I don't know the technical term for them, so they're nubules. And that frees up your cable, it's just that easy. So, how do you remove these from this big convoluted system, you may be asking. Well, there's just two little indents on the side of the plug. You just pop those free, they're fairly flexible, and it pops right out. It's literally that easy. Come on over to this side, do the same thing. Pink, and your amps are free. You throw your helmet on the ground now. Set your helmet gently on the ground because its whole purpose is to keep you alive in the future. And then you got this off score thing. So the keynote, this is back into here. That's your cable management little connector. So that's gonna go towards the back. You got these three points of Velcro up here. There's one on the front, two on the sides, and that's what you're gonna run your cable through. The cable is gonna go up towards the front. So how in the devil do you get this running? Well, you are facing towards us. What you're ultimately going to want to do is have these opscore things face the opposite direction. So this thing is way more springy than the helmet setup, which makes it far more a pain to deal with. So, what you're going to want to do... Let's see, we got all these facing this way now. Ta-da! And keeping with the trope of nothing can be easy, come on over to this side. These are fairly durable, by the way, so don't worry too much about busting them up. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. We've done it! Science! So, yeah, we're already doing way better. So, what you do is you're going to run these cables through these back ports here. And if you're going to be doing this long term, which I'm not, you would just run this uh, through there real quick. Obey me. Do my bidding. Yeah, you just run that through there. It'll do that little clicky thing. Clicky click. It'll stand there. I'm not going to do it. It's too much work. It's too much effort. I'll get paid enough. <laughs> Alright, and uh, yeah, so you run the cable up around the front. We're going to do our middle part here. Pop that middle one up, put the cable in there. Kink. Uh, that side. This side. Come on, cable. You must obey me. And yeah, if you do it remotely correctly, you'll have all sorts of good cable management going on. So yeah, just like that. <laughs> so now we're ready. So you're ready to throw this on with your boonie cap or whatever you got going on. And yeah, hit up the range. So now you're going, okay, I don't need all that crazy protection. You just gonna throw on a hat. You don't need the play carrier. You pop this open, you go, watch ya! And just like that. So, turn that on. There we go, we can hear everything nice and clean. You might notice it does sit a little bit high, the uh, cable management for the extra length and stuff. Not the cable management, the uh, wire management is contained in here, so you can actually pull down on that a wee bit, pull down on this side a wee bit, and get it adjusted to the shape and size of your dome. And you're all set, just like that. That simple, really. And you're all set to do non helmet range stuff or reconnaissance or all that fun thing. So, it's that simple. So now you're much more comfortable than wearing a super fancy helmet and stuff. 
unless you need night vision, then you're going to go right back to the helmet. But again, it's as easy to go in reverse order. Actually, easier to go in reverse order because you're not going to be botching left and right like a private pilot in Full Metal Jacket. So that's all I really got for you guys. Turn that off real quick. That's really everything. There's not all that much craziness to it. You can still run this with comms. You can still plug it into your radio and stuff on a uh, chest rig or whatever if you're not running a play carrier and have a good time. And oh yeah, you can also collapse it like that for all you cool kids who like to have it. Throw it in your range bag or in your backpack or anywhere out of the way. So it's just that simple. So that's all I have for you guys today on the super fancy score things. Do I think they're worth the NFMI thing? Uh, yeah, absolutely. If I'm ever around enough noise to require earplugs, then uh, yeah, keeping tinnitus at bay is very, very important. Because um, I like being able to hear, and hopefully you do too. Although sometimes people jump on the radio or the YouTubes and start sprouting their political opinion, at which point I kind of do wish I was deaf or immensely affected by tinnitus. But when you can't do that, you can also just turn off these two little buttons here and keep your headset and earplugs in, and you're not going to hear their opinion anyway. So, uh, yeah. Win-win. <laughs> if your neighbors upstairs are too noisy, you just throw in the earplugs and throw in this, and you don't turn it on. That's the secret. Kids crying too loud, don't turn it on. Problem solved. Well, I mean, problem ignored, technically. If your kid's hungry, you should probably get them food, but if your neighbors are noisy, then this is a better solution. So, that's all I got for you guys today. If you have any questions, go ahead and send them down below. These are ungodly expensive because they're brand new and super cool and high-speed operator, which is why everyone wants them. Well, maybe not everyone, but the kids who don't have tinnitus yet are going to want them because they'll help keep the tinnitus at bay. I'm out of things to tell you about these. If you, have, if you have any questions, again, just put them down below. I'll answer them to the best of my ability, but that's really it. Oh, they do come in other colors. You can get camo skins and stuff for them. <laughs> go, on the, uh, go on the store and buy some loot boxes and get the uh, cool aqua camo. <laughs> See, I think it's really just multi-cam, but yeah, cool. Tan. Tan. Uh, if I get a bit more sun, tan. It's a good time. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.